Hello guys, uh, <clears throat> um, today we're gonna talk about uh, uh, how to install the RAMP server and uh, do your own PHP coding and uh, if you want to host a website or uh, create a development server on your computer so how to do that so let's get started first of all uh, we need to have the RAMP server installed so uh, let me uh, let me uh, quickly help you with uh, RAMP. Uh, RAMP is a uh, short form of Windows, uh, Apache, MySQL, and uh, PHP. Which uh, uh, RAMP is for Windows, uh, which certainly the name goes for. And uh, Apache is the server which is uh, used largely on the full web. Uh, and uh, MySQL being the database. Uh, and PHP is the main programming language uh, used in this server. So uh, let's get started and download the uh, RAMP to install on our computer. Search RAMP server on the Google bar. Let me just simply do that. RAMP server here. Uh, oh, okay. RAM server, there it is. Uh, uh, quick note by the way, actually, uh, the web server website uh, by default is uh, available in uh, the French, uh, but they had uh, translated it in the English language. So just look for the EN at the end of the address uh, so that uh, you go on the right side, uh, unless you know French. So uh, here you can see the web server page and uh, let's click on the download bar and here we are. Um, so <coughs> if you know um, your system architecture, I mean uh, if your windows is 64 bit or 32 bit and uh, just select the one uh, which uh, for your compatible system. Uh, by the way, you can check your system architecture by going to my computer so in my case uh, this is windows 10 and it has php properties and it will show you like that system type which is uh, mine is 64 bit so i'm just gonna select the 64 bit poem server so uh, i already have downloaded this uh, so i'm not gonna do that again so let's just skip that part and uh, start installing web server Okay, so okay, let's get this started. Uh, yep, and uh, here it is. Uh, I for uh, simplicity, I download most of the setups offline so that I can install it anytime if I need to do so. So let's get started, guys. I do have the web server application setup right here so i just double clicked it and it's gonna start now anytime one two three four let's wait okay it's taking longer than usual Okay, here it is. Okay, so, oh, okay. Okay, kernel K uh, is the language. I don't really, uh, most of the times, it's on by default, it's on, already set on English. So, in fact, that's the word. And uh, it asks for the license agreement. Just uh, select I accept the agreement and uh, click next. Uh, it's uh, again the information click next uh, now this is the part where it uh, asks you where to install the web server or the OM, uh, installation directory okay so if you don't have any problems or uh, any system based problems just let it be just let the uh, installation be the default directory and click next uh, RAM server 64 doesn't 
you do and do anything you want okay okay next uh yeah there we go the installation folder inside any folder inside so guys um it's uh, installing now so let me quickly uh give you a short summary of ramp uh ramp is uh i already as i already told you windows apache mysql and php uh, so that uh, helps you in uh, quickly creating a development server on your platform on your operating system so that uh, you can uh, do your uh, website uh, creation tasks or any application creation or anything which you can do on uh, web so that it's uh, it's just a offline um, source to create websites and uh, develop uh, apps and things so uh, i think it will take some time to install uh, until then uh, let's just wait and see what happens next so okay uh, yeah i think it will take more than three days so let's talk about uh, uh one another thing uh, which you will need uh you will need a code editor so some of my best code editors uh, i think um, which are best uh, in my list uh, I can give you the list of all of them. Uh, actually, uh, I have a blog called ithack.com. You can go there and look for that. That would be I created. I have created a list of them. Uh, that should be somewhere right here. Yeah, that's right. Source code editors. Uh, so basically, I do have uh, already described uh, what a source code editor is in here but uh, uh, let me give you a quick summary of all that uh, we've got a source code editor is uh, it uh, helps you edit uh, the code in a, a pretty good manner actually it understands the code well so the whatever the result the keywords are it uh, displays in a colored manner and uh, it shows you which uh, code you need to add it and uh, basically it helps you in everything it uh these top 10 source code editors have uh, extra plugins uh, and uh, extensions so that uh, if you need any help uh, in your way of uh, creating a theme or creating a template or creating a website uh, you you will get help by the uh, community and uh, there are many other sources to get help so uh, I suggest you to just have a quick look on this article or else if you don't want to go for that I suggest uh, my personal favorite uh, which I use for my coding which is VS Code uh, from Microsoft it is a uh, it is a free source code editor uh, developed by the Microsoft team uh, it's pretty good uh, in my opinion it's definitely a best option to choose from uh, another best uh, source code editor is the atom uh, I do use this one too but uh, most of the times I go for the VS code so you may as well, uh, you may go as well for the atom also so just uh, download the installer and all that so um i suggested uh, you for uh, uh in my opinion you should go for vs code uh, because uh, it is a pretty good editor and uh, it has many extra support extensions and uh, all that just download it for your operating system whichever you have uh, mac uh, windows linux so uh, remember to download the stable build uh, if you are uh, not familiar with the insiders or other uh, beta releases so uh, yeah. uh, 
So VS Code, uh, okay, VS Code. I do have VS Code installed right here. You see VS Code and the atom. Let's uh, let me help you see what VS Code looks like inside the room. This is what uh, Visual Studio Code looks like. And you can pretty much do all your coding work right here in the black field. Yeah. So you could just go right like that. Um, HTML. And uh, yes, HTML. And yeah. So you do understand like that. So uh, this is pretty good uh, and you can install your folders uh, and other projects uh, you can uh, connect your github uh, account uh, right here and uh, open the github repository you can download uh, debug extensions and many other things and there are many tons of things available you can explore and learn so just look for that Okay, I think our web server is uh, getting installed and it's okay. Uh, and now it asks for you to choose uh, which browser you're gonna use for your development server. I use uh, Chrome as my default browser, so I may go for Chrome. Okay, now this is uh, where it asks for the code editor which you want to use. Uh, if you want to use the notepad, which I don't suggest to use, uh, just click no. And if you want to use your own source code editor, just click yes and select the one you want to use. Uh, as I've already told you, I'm going to use the OES code, uh, Visual Studio code. It should be somewhere around here, Visual Studio code. I think it's here. VS Code. Let's just look for it where it is. Yeah, Microsoft VS Code. Here, Microsoft, Microsoft VS Code. Yeah. Code. Uh, bin. Maybe this is the one. VS Code. Okay, we got uh, all of the things discovered. Uh, so this is the security alert with uh, uh, Windows 10. Uh, in the latest version of Windows, it asks for uh, the server to run in the private network. Also, if you do want that, I only recommend uh, using it or not is your uh, is your option. Is just select yes or not. It doesn't really matter. Just allow access, and here we are. Uh, getting installed so uh, many of you guys will have a, a quick problem which would be uh, the server running status and uh, things like that so for the first run just double click on the ramp server icon on your desktop desktop uh, again so um, here goes uh, the icon uh, it will show you a green icon which means it's uh, running successfully and if it didn't show that uh, just click right here ramp settings and uh, do remember to give it uh, the restart DNS and uh, most of the major important things to remember in ramp is uh, like uh, the Apache and uh, MySQL database uh, is running or not so just remember that and uh, you can also add localhost in URL uh, things like that so let's just go to Chrome and see whether it works okay just change this with localhost and Click enter. Here we are. So uh, we've got all uh, 
I'm going to have a web server installed and uh, pretty much uh, you are ready to get started with our uh, programming and stuff. Okay, so um, the things uh, it uh, installed is uh, what the PHP my admin page, which is for your database. Uh, this is the database, and uh, the server is so called running uh, from the page you are seeing. It is on the server, so that means Apache is installed, and. Uh, other than it is running on windows and uh, like install all the other things uh, you do want to use on uh, you can use on php or things so we'll see you in the next video um, i'm gonna uh, create a course on uh, how to learn php development easily um, and i'll be talking about it more on there if you want to learn php and uh, quickly become a php developer just uh, roll out uh, and look out for the course to release i'll be releasing it in the next week so peace out enjoy guys